Hello and welcome to Carbon Y, the channel that's catered to those who are avid lifelong learners. My channel explores the how, what, where, why the world works the way it does. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that you can get notified of my next video. In this week's episode, we find out why Americans are eating so many snacks. We all have that one snack that we just love to munch on. And the stay-at-home orders as well, as the lockdown stress has no doubt had us snacking way more than usual. Frito Lay, a subsidiary of PepsiCo and one of the largest snack food makers in the US, producing over 1200 different snacks like Cheetos, Doritos, Lay Smart Food and Ruffles, has seen sales skyrocketing since the lockdown. Frito Lay got its start in the midst of the Great Depression in 1932 when Charles Elmer Doolin purchased a recipe, handheld potato ricer, and over a dozen retail accounts from a corn chip manufacturer, all for $100. He started off selling corn chips out of his car by day and cooking out of his mother's kitchen by night. Eventually, he expanded to his family's garage and later to the West Coast. He named his business the Frito Company. Herman Lay started a snack food delivery company in Nashville, Tennessee that same year and by 1956 Herman had over 1000 employees and was the largest manufacturer of potato chips and snack foods in the US. Herman and Charles joined forces in 1961 and so the Frito Lay company that we know today was formed. Four years later they merged with Pepsi Cola to form PepsiCo. This union made Lay's the first nationwide potato chip brand. The company kept busy rolling out new recipes. They launched Doritos Tortilla Chips in 1966. Then in 1981, Tostitos brand rolled around and they added flaming hot flavoring to the menu in 1992. By 2008, Frito-Lay had a 57% share of the US potato chip market. In the US, from the late 70s through the late 2000s, the number of people that had at least one snack a day surged from 59% to 90% and snack consumption doubled. In early 2021, Frito-Lay North America announced that the quarter four net revenue for 2020 was $5.4 billion, that's up 5% from 2019. PepsiCo's chief customer officer, Michael Del Pozzo says, Variety is important to the consumer and people are snacking 40% more now than they did pre-lockdown. And it's not just the PepsiCo brand of snacks, but snacks all across the board are experiencing this boom in sales. Sales of savory snacks like chips, popcorn and pretzels climbed to $56.9 billion in 2020 in the US. That's an 11% increase from 2019. How do they get so many people to consistently buy snacks? Well, Frito-Lay relies on clever marketing schemes, social media influencers and celebrities to promote sales. Like in 2019, the company enlisted artists like Change the Rapper and the Backstreet Boys. And in 2020, they start hip-hop artist Post Malone in advertisements. Frito-Lay has made movies out of the grocery store as well. In May 2020, PepsiCo launched Snacks.com, where customers can purchase snacks directly from the company. Michael Del Pozzo of PepsiCo says the company has a huge advantage by owning the value chain because they are involved in every part, from seat to shave, and it allows them to have so much flexibility. A 2020 study by Mondolas International estimates that around 90% of adults surveyed said the lockdown and being home more has led them to snack more. 60% of those surveyed said snacking is their new normal. Even after the lockdown, they will continue snacking. This attitude towards snacking has definitely boosted many of the big names in snacking. Like Hostess Brands, Hershey, Kellogg Company, Mondolos International, Nestle and of course Frito-Lay. Snack sales in North America are up 7% higher than 2019. That's a staggering $133 billion made in 2020. Thanks to the lockdown, Hostess, the maker of Twinkies and Ding Dongs, saw a net revenue increase of 15% in 2020 to $1 billion due to the increasing demand of the company's Vortman cookies and Hostess brands. Everyone loves snacking, and snacking trends and indulgent snacking had only been accelerated due to stay-at-home orders. Hershey saw a surge in the sale of milk chocolate packs used to make s'mores. Kellogg's North American snack division, which includes Pringles and Cheez-It, has seen 3.3% increase in sales to $4.4 billion in 2020. Mondelez International, the maker of Oreo cookies and Ritz crackers, saw a 2.8% increase in 2020, 
bringing their net revenue to $26.5 billion. However, Nestle experienced a drop in demand for impulse purchases at the checkout counter. Their Kit Kats had a weaker demand, but that was offset by increasing demand for their baking products. But it was Frito Lay who saw the biggest gains, with stay at home orders leading to Netflix binging, snacking on things like potato chips and popcorn skyrocketed. Frito Lay North America had a 6.5% increase in 2020, with a net revenue of $18 billion. PepsiCo had an exceptionally strong growth of 5.7% in the fourth quarter of 2020, according to Hugh Johnson, the company's vice chairman and CFO. And Michael Del Pozzo attributes the accelerated sales of Tostitos to the fact that people were having more small gatherings instead of big parties due to the lockdown restrictions. PepsiCo CEO Raymond LaGuarta said they saw an increase in both at-home consumption and multi-pack snack sales, and the company strengthened its place at the top of the savory snacks category with new product launches including limited edition Lay's flavors like pimento cheese and New England lobster roll. The thing about the lockdown and stay-at-home orders is that most people stopped eating healthy. A study by the Journal of Obesity shows that while some people munched on fruits, vegetables and healthier snacks, the majority of people had a steady diet of chips, chocolates and cookies. Almost 50% of people reported an increase in unhealthy snacking and 25% say that while their snacking has increased, it's on healthy snacks and fruits and vegetables. Prior to the lockdown, US adults on average received about 24% of their daily calories through snacks and one in six Americans was getting around 40% of their daily calories from snacks. So, is this new snacking trend causing Americans to put on more weight? Well, so far, research has found mixed results. But the principle is that if people are snacking on vegetables and fruits, that's unlikely to impact their weight. But if a person is snacking on sugar-sweetened beverages and high-calorie but low-in-nutrition snacks, like chips, crackers or cookies, it could potentially impact that weight over time. Frito-Lay has faced its fair share of criticism over the high-calorie, low-nutrient snacks. 2020 media reports Frito-Lay's widely popular Hot Cheetos brand was banned from schools in California, New Mexico and Illinois due to nutritional concerns. A one-ounce serving of flaming Hot Cheetos at the time had 160 calories, 11 grams of fat and 10% of the day's recommended intake of sodium. But Frito-Lay had tried to do its part in reversing trends in obesity for some time now. In 2002, Frito-Lay began work to eliminate trans fats. And by 2010, the company's North American division said that about 50% of its products were made with all natural ingredients. They've also created healthier alternatives to their popular snacks called the Simply Line with snacks like Lay Simply and Tostito Simply. They use cleaner, healthier ingredients for people who want to have that choice. PepsiCo has already recently acquired companies like Beer Snacks and BFI's Popcorners, more healthier alternatives to snacking. In addition to its smart food line, PepsiCo announced a joint venture with Beyond Meat to produce plant-based protein snacks in 2021. Lockdowns and stay-at-home orders led to this gravitation towards comfort foods, but as more Americans move away from the traditional three meals a day and more towards snacking between meals, healthy snacks will become an even bigger part of our diet. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and watch these videos that might pique your interest. Thank you for your support.